الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت في الله the movement should learn from his or her mistakes. This is a sifat or a characteristic of the believer is that they learn from the mistakes that they make. And it shows us that the characteristic of the one who is not a believer, the disbeliever, or the person who has a type of ignorance covering them is that they don't learn from their mistakes. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from being amongst them. And Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu wa ala nabiyyi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam anahu qad la yildahu mu'minu min hujri wahidin marratayn huwahu bukhari. It is reported on the authority of Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he said the believer is not stung from the same hole twice, narrated by Al-Bukhari. So in this hadith that the Prophet وسلم, it shows us a couple of benefits. The first benefit showing us that the characteristic of the movement is that they are not stung in the same hole twice, meaning they don't make the same continual mistakes. For example, a person who does a certain sin and then they regret that sin, but they keep continually going back to that sin. Or a person who does something foolish and they regret doing this foolish mistake, but then they return back to the same foolishness that they do not seem to learn. So this shows us the movement has a characteristic other than that. So that should be a warning to us to be cautious and to make sure that we are practicing and learning from our mistakes in this life because the repercussions can be in the hereafter. Another benefit of this hadith is that the true mu'min learns from his or her mistakes, that they do not allow for those things to uh, destroy them by continually falling into the same error. Likewise, this hadith shows us that it is permissible to make similitudes uh, for events or uh, you know, in stories to when talking about events in our lives or even something related to the religion if it is uh, to obtain a religious lesson, if there is value from that. Those are just some of the benefits of this hadith and may Allah Azza wa Jal bless us with ilm al nafia wa rizq al tayyiba wa amal al mutaqabbil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam